Hi, Gay DeRusso with the Majestic Rider. So today I'm gonna to talk a little bit more about girth and girthiness. When you tighten your girth, there's certain precautions you should take and then there's certain things that you should listen to your horse when they are telling you. So when you tighten the girth, I've seen people either make it totally loose or way too tight. When you tighten it, I usually tighten it three to four times. I tighten it once in the beginning When I tighten it, I don't make it very tight. As you do this, watch your horse's head and ears, and they will tell you if they like it or they don't like it. What? He said, don't you tighten that too tight. So I can still pull it like a fist away from her, okay? And then this thing, if you don't know it, this holds, this holds your uh, cinch, so you just put it through. Some people have that on their saddle and they don't even know what the heck it's for. So that's what it's for to hold your curve. So when you tighten it in the beginning, you're just making it so the saddle's not going to fall off, but not very snug. Then you want to let your horse get used to it, do some other stuff, tighten it again. Do some other stuff, tighten it again. Then walk your horse. I usually tighten it again before I get on. Then you can stretch your horse's legs like I showed you in the girth gall video because you're trying to make sure there's no skin getting stuck. You're trying to make sure this is comfortable for them because they are carrying us. And most horses blow up a lot in the beginning because people just come over and they make this as tight as they can in one thing. That's like someone coming up to you and just taking your belt, wrapping it around your waist and going, doesn't feel too good, especially if you just ate or something. So you're trying to make this something comfortable for the horse, not something they would hate. Now let's talk about if you do it nicely, but you're still having problems with your horse. So you come up and as you're trying to tighten it, instead of them just giving you a look, they pin their ears like that, pin your ears, and they give you a nasty look like, hey, don't do that. What does that mean? Well, first, of course, it means they don't like it, but there's a reason they don't like it. So one, you want to loosen that girth back up and look for any sores in this area at all. Stick your head down there, look around their elbows, look under their girth, and see what you see. Sometimes they have a fungal infection or a staph infection, so when you're tightening that up, it's causing them pain. And you don't want them rubbing on an infection as you're riding because guess what? They might want it off if it hurts enough, then they might buck you off. So when they pin their ears, make sure you take a good look under there. If there's any bumps, but there's no sores, that's starting of irritation or what they call a dermatitis. So it could be the start of a staph infection, a fungal infection, or just a rub. So if they do have that, make sure you get this girth way back you know, and you can V-rig it. You want to make sure it's not rubbing and then you want to make sure that you clean that very well. Clean it with iodine or HibaCleanse daily. You know, leave it on for a minute, wash it off and then put some kind of girth ointment on there or put something like MTG for a fungal infection and keep watching it every day. But tighten it very slow and make sure that girth is not rubbing that area at all. Now, the other thing is it's a mare. So you go to tighten the girth And she looks at you and she goes, what the hell are you doing? And she pins her ears and she tries to bite you. What does that tell you? I'm telling that. That usually tells you she's in heat. And what happens when she's in heat? It means she ovulates, an egg comes out, her ovaries release that, and some horses will get cyst or they'll get lots of pain when that is happening. So when you tighten the girth, it's just like if you got cramps, the girls know what I'm talking about, but the guys don't. <laughs> so if you got cramps, it can hurt a lot. And each woman is different and each horse is different. But with the men, it's like gas pains. If you've ever had a lot of gas and you're like, oh, that's so bad. Imagine if someone took a belt, stuck it around your waist, and as you were having those pains, tighten that belt up as hard as they could and just started yanking on it. And then they get on you and they're kicking you and doing all this stuff. You don't feel too good. So when a mare is doing that, the first thing you want to think is she's probably in heat and she's probably in pain. 
and that is what is causing the issue and usually the first couple of days are the worst so you could do a couple of things you could give them a couple of days off the other thing you could do is give them bute or banamine but talk to your vet about it say i think she's in heat i think she you know is having pain and she's difficult when i'm tightening the girth she's trying to bite me can i give her bute or banamine and if so how much can i get always check with your vet first that can make a huge difference or again you might only have to do it for a couple of days after that again you want to tighten it very slow put it back tell her i understand yep i know it's not the most pleasant thing i know but as you're tightening this i'm making it pretty tight because i'm trying to make her make faces as you tighten this if she turns her head you want to push it back because you don't want to get bit you want to be like i understand what you're saying but you still can't bite me you can put your ears back and you can warn me and tell me you don't like that and I'll listen to you, but there's no biting, okay? So you either push them back. If they start to do it really bad, shove them back. If that doesn't work, you might have to kind of smack them back, but you got to increase the pressure enough that they don't try to bite anybody, okay? Now, if you pull on the girth here and they're making lots of faces, okay? it means it's uncomfortable for them. So you could loosen it a little bit, walk them around, and then tighten it again. Now, that's with the, the mares. So butyrbanamine, make it easy for them. And then remember when you're riding them, try not to kick them, be very gentle because they are not feeling so good. And the fact that they're actually letting you on their back and they're doing the work while they don't feel so good. And all the women know this because we all go to work when we feel like that, but we get a little irritable, don't we? Okay. We're at work and people are complaining and doing stuff and you're like, I'm pretty much crippled over in pain. My legs are numb. I can't feel anything. I, I should be home in bed, but that's not how the world works. So I'm still here at work, but please don't irritate me because I have a really short cord right now. So that's what the horses have too. So be aware of that if you have a mare, because sometimes you're just not understanding them and they're trying to tell you stuff. So they get meaner and meaner because you're not listening to them. Okay, now the most common and the most missed part of being girthy is ulcers. Okay? Everything we do with horses pretty much gives them ulcers. We feed them a couple of times a day. They're supposed to graze at least 17 hours a day. We lock them up, that stresses them out. We take them away from their friends so they don't have a herd, that stresses them out. We ride them, we demand things out of them. Look at him, and he's like, yeah, that's exactly it, right? We do all these things to these poor horses and that gives them stress, which therefore gives them ulcers. And they make a lot of acid in their stomach. So when they're not eating continuously, that acid sits there and then what happens? They can get ulcers. What are signs of ulcers? Number one, girthiness, okay? So when the horse is girthy, uh, that's one of my main thoughts is, is it sores or something else? Or does this horse have ulcers? They will be very tender in certain points of their body, but once they're girth, it's back here. So if you're touching around on them and they're just like, ah, 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 I don't like any of this, that horse probably has ulcers. Contact your vet, have them worked up for ulcers, put them on an ulcer medication. Normally you'll see a difference within a couple of weeks to a month and then you'll know that was the reason. I always like to feed them preventative ulcer medications like magnesium. You can put them on ulcer guard and other things because we do stress them out a lot and we're trying to make sure that they are not in pain. So when your horse is girthy, again, don't let them have bad behavior. Even if they have ulcers, I'm going to push their head back so they can't bite me but I'm also gonna be aware of it and work it up and see what I can come up with to make that horse more pleasant. Now last, you have a horse that you've worked everything up. Nobody can find anything wrong with it. It's not a mare, so you're not worried about it being in heat, but it doesn't like the girth tightened. Why would that be? It's because they remember what people have done the years before. So people have cranked it up, they've given them sores, and so the horse thinks every time you tighten that girth, that's what's gonna to happen to it. Those horses, I use a little treat because I'm trying to associate the girth with something pleasant. So I'll give them a little cookie and then I'll tighten the girth. I'm not gonna tighten hers anymore because it's pretty snug. So I can fit some fingers in here, but it's pretty snug. So 
Every time I go to tighten the, you want me to tighten the girth again? She's like, yes, please. There you go. And then I tighten the girth again, or just wiggle it around, or just kind of move your hand around their girth area and stuff. So there's many different causes of a horse having, never let them paw. When they paw, you do something that's unpleasant to make them stop, okay? Because that's a demand. She's like, give me cookies now. And I'm like, hell no, I'm not giving you any cookies. Only when I tighten the girth or do something else. There's no free checks here. You gotta work for it, right? So just remember when they're girthy, try to work it up, try to figure it out, and then try to make it better. Don't just ignore your horse or think they're just a bad horse and he's been girthy all his life. You can fix it. And that horse might have had ulcers all his life and nobody knew it. So work it up, try to make them more comfortable, and you'll have a more trustworthy, happy horse.